Hey, hi, hello, my name is Discat. This is Project Hardcover, where we're letting books be the escape. Hello, lovelies, and today for you, I have my July graphic novel book haul. And guys, I'm super proud of myself. I do not have an epic stack of graphic novels to show you guys. I actually have a quite reasonable stack of graphic novels to show you guys. I am just, ugh, I'm so super proud of my adulting abilities right now. But you guys don't want to hear about my adulting. You guys want to hear about my indulging. You guys want me to show you all of the amazing graphic novels that I picked up. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So the first graphic novel that I picked up this month was Chew, Volume 5, and also Volume 6. Yes, I mentioned in one of my past videos, it escapes me right now which one, that the good people of Amazon were working very, very hard to get these volumes to me, and as you can see, they accomplished their goal. And I read them, and just, oh my gosh, you guys, this series is getting so ridiculous. But I'm not going to go into any more detail than that, because I will be talking about both of these in my July wrap-up. But for those of you who don't know what this graphic novel series is about, you've obviously not been following my channel for the past couple of months, but I will tell you what it is about. These graphic novels basically revolve around the story of Tony Chu, who is a police officer and also a chibopath. And chibopaths are basically people who can get a kind of psychic reading based on things that they ingest. So when Tony eats, say, a hamburger, he can see the entire process of that hamburger being made, including the bye-bye moo cow part. And it's really just a really quirky little graphic novel series that follows all of his adventures and misadventures using this very peculiar ability to help solve crimes. But just let me tell you, it does not remain just simply quirky or anything, just with each new volume, this series becomes more and more complex and layered and amazing, and I am just so in love with it. If you have not checked these out yet, you seriously, seriously need to. The next graphic novel that I picked up this month was Volume 4 of Morning Glories by Nick Spencer. And also, Volume 5. Yes, these were two more of those books that Amazon was trying very, very hard to get to me that did get to me and entered my eyeballs and blew my brains away. Because that is just what Morning Glories likes doing to my brains, blowing them away. Again, you will hear my thoughts on Volume 4 of Morning Glories in my wrap up, not five because I'm saving it for a thing, but you will hear about my thoughts on volume four in my wrap up. But for those of you who don't know what this graphic novel series is about, again, you've obviously not been a part of this little channel community here for the past couple of months, but I will tell you anyway, Morning Glories revolves around six teenagers who were hand-picked and selected to attend the very prestigious Morning Glory Academy. But when these six teenagers arrive at the school, absolutely nothing is like what they expected. And because, I reiterate for like the eight millionth time on this channel, the less you know going into this graphic novel series, the more amazing it is, that is all I am telling you. Just know that, like with Chu, the more and more you read, and the more and more volumes come out, the more and more layered and complex the story gets, and it's so freaking amazing, and I am in love with these books, and just... <sighs> Guys, go out and read these. These are so freaking amazing, I can't express to you. And then the last graphic novel that I picked up this month was The Wicked and the Divine, Volume 2 by Kieran. Kieran. I'm pretty sure it's Kieran or Kieran Gillen. Yes, so a little ways ago, I read the first volume of The Wicked and the Divine, and I absolutely loved it. The artwork was beautiful, and the story was really interesting and compelling. So, of course, when the second volume came out this month, I had to go out and get it. And I did, and it was really good. Like, ish goes down. But again, you will hear about my thoughts on this in my wrap-up. For those of you who don't know what this graphic novel series is about, it is about this alternate universe where every 90 years, 12 ancient gods are reincarnated into the bodies of teenagers. And for two years, these gods become these 
ultra super popular and famous pop stars and singers and performers and the entire world just falls in love with them. And then they die. And then the entire cycle starts all over again. And it basically just follows the story of this young girl who gets all caught up in all of this godlike mess. This series is getting very, very interesting and just so compelling and just, oh, it's so good. Also, if you guys have not picked this up yet, you guys seriously need to, cause just, man, stuff is getting for reals. Just getting so for real. And that is it. Those are all of the graphic novels that I picked up this month. I am so proud of me. Normally I have like 8 million graphic novels that I have to show you, but this month I was restrained and I was responsible and I was mature and just, oh. Just, it feels good, it feels good, but I don't expect it to last, like, at all. And you guys shouldn't either. Anywho, let me know down in the comments if you guys have read these graphic novel series, what you think of them, because I think that they are phenomenal, and I would like to know if you guys also think that they're phenomenal. Also, leave me recommendations for graphic novels down in the comments. I want graphic novels to cons continue to consume my life. They already kind of do consume my life, but I want more. I want more consuming of my life by the graphic novels. As always, thanks you guys for watching. I will see you next time. And remember, books are the escape.